Hello. Hi, everyone. How are you today? Hey, I've got a question for you. Have you been suffering from what seems like a cold? Did it seem to hit just in the past two weeks? Or is someone around you, maybe one of your kids, your family members, suffering from what seems to be a cold? And maybe you're curious. You're saying, you know, is this COVID? Is it not? Is it something else? Well, I'm here to help clarify a lot of that for you. So the very first thing that I would say is, have you taken the temperature to determine if there is a fever? Now, there's a difference with a virus. It usually will spike a very high fever. The reason that I'm doing this video is it has come to my attention through clients and through a lot of other people around me that I know. People that are former bosses, my own son, um, my son's other parent, people in the neighborhood. Now, a lot can be attributable to the change in the atmosphere, meaning that when it gets really cold, the air dries out, the tissues inside you can also get a little bit dry. But a lot is attributable to what I call the after-holiday hangover effect. So what is that after-holiday hangover effect? Sometimes we don't eat well, we indulge, we tell ourselves that in January, come January, we're going to get on the horse and we're really going to stick to it this time or we're going to diet, we're going to lose the 10 pounds, whatever it is, right? But this is a little bit more than a hangover. This is making some people sick. And there are areas within you that actually can become inflamed and unwell. Now, some of you know I teach about twin flame ascension. What does this mean in terms of being a twin flame and having a light body and chakras? Or I'll put it like this. This being the year of 2022, having parts of you that truly need to connect to another person and not to everyone else. That's where it goes boing. You know, it, it begins to feel like wow, 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 wow. Along with that, you can have very flat emotions. It can feel a bit like depression. You can get worried. You know, what is happening out there with people is very worrisome for a lot of people. I am of the mindset, in other words, being mindful and aware that for some people, this happens every single year. Some people are an old hand at it. I had to learn years ago how to deal with things, even before I knew about Twin Flame Ascension. For some people, it's the very first time that they get really sick, or it's been a really long time in between bouts of illness, and it's alarming for them in the current you know, environment of worry and stress and wondering. How would you like to have a breakdown of some of the things to do? Well, you can because I created a free ebook to help you break it down between, you know, what is and what isn't. What are some of the symptoms that you can experience when you're going through ascension? You are a multifaceted person. That makes you unique, and your experiences are unique. Your biology is actually unique, even if you take after people in your family. Here's the kicker number two, as a twin flame person. You're intended to heal some of that stuff inside, from the inside outwardly, and from the outside in. And that's not an easy task to do, and it does take time. You have to be patient with yourself. And you not only do that, but you have to focus on the integration of your brand new light body connections. That is what I help and teach you with. Okay, so unlike something that feels like an abstract part of us, this is becoming much more prominent for people. To some people, it's as though they sense there's something else. There's something about this. There's something unseen and yet it's somehow telling their senses there's more to this than meets the eye for other people it's a whole you know pantheon of uh you know messages and beings and other things and even some of that is not 
100% accurate. And for other people, they have learned to rise above it because, like me, maybe they've gotten sick and they've learned from that. Now, I'm a firm believer in being well, okay? And I'm here to help people with not only the differences between your physical body and your light body, but the integration that helps you with the other person that you're truly connected to. Okay. Now, becoming adept at certain things helps you to then turn around and help other people in your environment, such as your children. Sometimes those children can be very wise and speak up and say things that are so profound. You look at them and you say like, my God, you're six years old, but you sound like a 30 year old. Yeah, that is because there is a part of them inside that is that being too. They signed on for this. They're relying on you. It's part of your agreement with them. And if you're ignoring certain things or running away in fear, please don't do that. You don't have to be fearful when there is a sensible plan and a way to do things. Now, if you have this cold that I'm talking about, so we could loosely call it a cold. You caught a sniffle, you have a sniffle, you're sort of thinking, you know, this is the kind of thing everyone gets, but did I get it from someone? And what is it actually? Okay. Do you have congestion here? Do you have congestion at the back of your post-nasal drip area? Do your eyes feel funny? Are they overly sensitive? Are you sensitive to light? Are you sensitive to, um, you know, things such as you walk outside, it's cold. You walk inside, it's warm. You feel your eyes react a bit. How about your ears? Do your ears feel puffy? Do they feel sensitive? Are sounds sensitive to you? Do you feel as though there's a lot of fluid in your throat and yet you can't really cough it all out? You're, you have like a throat tickle or something like that. Do you feel fatigued? Um, maybe not so much fatigue, like you can get through your day, but you're just kind of blah. You want to lay down, you want to sleep extra. That, believe it or not, is part of the natural mammal part of us that needs to hibernate. And we can't. We have to go to work, we have to go to school. We want to push off of those things, just stay in bed. Believe me, I understand that. I wanted to do that this morning. It's not always possible. Sometimes you're doing things that are sort of counterproductive to one of your bodies, your human body, your light body. Now, what is it about your light body? Your light body is here to help you better manage your health, to help you intuit things. Until then, I am a teacher and a guide and also a healer to help you rid yourself of old unwanted things, to help you make sense of this. Now, there is science and biology to this. Something that uh, separates me from other people is that I was a pre-med major. There's an awful lot I know about biology and chemistry and also have known from my own trial and error because that's how all of us ever learn. It's trial and error. It always has been. It always will be. We try something. That is still the same with this worldwide pandemic. Yeah, people demanded medicine. It's gotten out there. I don't want to get all political. Please don't write comments that are politicizing things. I don't care. Because the bottom line is, is if you are more concerned with the outer world than concerned for yourself and your immediate environment, you're going to get off track at some point. And then you'll get angry and then you'll get lost. And, you know, that's not going to be healthy for anyone. Let's focus here on you, things that you can do, ways that you can gain your confidence and get away from fears. Yeah. So, yeah, some things are being tried and true while other things dwindle down. Okay. It's always like that. Always, always, always like that. Okay. Okay. Whether it's from the time you were a little kid where someone said to you, don't touch the stove, don't touch the stove, it's hot. Don't touch the stove, it's hot. And wouldn't you know it, there's always that one person who has to be a provocateur, touch the stove because they got to see it for themselves.
okay? They got to see what hot feels like. They can't take someone else's word for it, okay? That's a lot of us. I was that kid. I'm like, I got to see it. I would joke with my family that that is the scientist in me, okay? I got to see it, touch it. Yes, it's gotten me into trouble. Now, there is a way to do things that I have developed through my own twin flame body modality to help you. If you are concerned, you know, what is it? What isn't it? Okay. And I talked to a lot of people who were sick over the past two years. I had sickness myself. In fact, I've had sickness since I was three months old in my upper respiratory area. I want to help you get on board with this simply because there are other areas that may feel sick from time to time. So a lot of the focus is here, okay, or if you're suffering from that cold or someone you know is having that weird cold, you know, and a lot of people got it, especially men, okay, especially men. They got some kind of a weird cold. And for a lot of men, you know, they're accustomed to having someone around to help take care of them. Not a bad thing, but it may really throw them out of the ballpark for a minute. And proper self-care is always welcome and encouraged. Okay. Now, um, if you are really wanting some more information, I have some information available on my website. You simply have to click the links and go. And if you are more interested in ascending to a level above this and in getting integration, integrate the parts of you that do not want to carry illness, that do not want to carry outdated relationship patterns, that does not want to carry the things that Maybe you've been carrying around for hundreds of lifetimes. If you want the part of you, a brand new blueprint as your basis, your foundation to write things upon, okay? It is a living bridge between you and another level. It is. Now, this is very different than shoving things back down or ignoring things. So please make sure that you're aware that it is a brand new thing this year. It's been brand new for a long time, but I think it's time to, you know, sit up and take a focus of it because it's quite simply time. It's time to stop the chaos and the drama and start getting sensible about some of this. Thanks so much. If you've been feeling sick, please feel better. Be sure to hydrate. Hydrate is more than just drinking eight cups of water a day. It is the foods you eat. And yeah, I get it. Around the holidays, a lot of people, we want to have that treat. We want to have grandma's special dish or dessert or cookies or cake. And all of that stuff can clog up and congest people. Should you have to say no? Ah, that is something I believe in. Unconditional love means you're not putting conditions on it. Is moderation part of the keys? Absolutely. And there are parts of your light body that help you with that very naturally that I explain in my classes. So join. Find out all the good stuff that is on your future, on your horizon, and coming up for you should you choose to. If you're chasing the wrong stuff, it's going to hit a dead end at some point. So why not get on track starting off the year right? Thank you. Bye.